Hello everyone. Happy Friday. I haven't forgotten this week, which is a nice bonus for my day. <laughs> uh, as usual, we'll give it a few seconds, see if anybody jumps on. But if you are watching this back later, let me know in the comments. Um, and if you are watching this on our YouTube, please make sure that you subscribe. It just shows YouTube that you like our content. And then hopefully they show up to some other people too. So, uh, today we are playing around with Pure Eco's Stain and Glaze again, but in their colours. So last week we did a little Q&A, but while I was doing the Q&A, um, I did a few of these little sample boards with the coloured stain. And today, we're going to be, oh, nearly lost it. <laughs> we're going to be popping that stain on the inside of the little jewellery boxes that I am currently working on for something a bit different. So I thought we'd just have a bit of a play around. I've also got um, some Purico glitter sealer as well. So we're just having some fun today, doing something a bit different. I really enjoy little projects when I'm just getting a bit, I suppose, overwhelmed with everything else that I'm doing. And I also enjoy little pro projects because I get to be a lot more creative with them. Um, and because of their size, for me, it doesn't matter as much if they don't sell, uh, because A, they're quite easy to redo if I need to. Um, and they are also, um, yeah, it, and it doesn't matter if they don't sell because they're easy if, to redo if I need to. Um, and it's not such a big investment, etc., of my time, etc. But they also just break up my daily routine a little bit, which is what I, uh, I need sometimes, particularly when I'm really just doing heaps of really plain, simple pieces, which I've been doing a lot of lately. And I'm a bit bored, so I enjoy doing little pieces like this. So we've got two today that we're doing and we'll be putting the stain and glaze on the internals of both. So they've both got a little um, little drawer and then the main compartment as well. So we'll be putting it on the inside of both. So I'll just bring it a little bit closer, show you what I've done. So this colour is a custom mix. I The base is Pure Eco, oh, it's all Pure Eco Silk Finish. The base is Fossil. And then it has macadamia, cloud, cotton. I think it's got some seashell in it. It was literally a jar and it had like maybe a centimetre of fossil left in it. And I dumped, I've got heaps of little sample pots, which you'll see today. Pure Eco give us these when we first become stockers. So I've had mine about two years now. And I don't use whites a lot, even on little projects, I don't use them a lot. So I just dumped them all in, mixed a custom colour. The coffee tables that I finished last week, which you would have seen, um, I used this colour on those. And this is just some of the leftovers. There's still a little bit left, but not a significant amount, but enough to do some little projects. This is one coat all over. These are just a raw pine one coat all over and um really really good coverage really nice soft color so this is the inside and on the top oh i'm gonna lose that drawer in a minute i'm gonna go backwards for a second we have a redesign with primer transfer um i would tell you the name of it except i don't know and i don't have the name written on the packaging anymore so i can't tell you the name i do know that i don't have this one in stock anymore uh, for those of you who have, have asked, uh, unfortunately, the redesign with Primate Distributor for Australia um, is no longer distributing it. Um, and the cost to get redesign with Primate products from America to Australia is really prohibitive and is making it quite unaffordable at the moment for me to bring their products back to you all. So I do have some of their mini transfers, which is what I've used on these, still available on my website. Unfortunately, at this stage, that's all I have. 
Um, I'm hoping at some point there'll be another distributor or it will become a little bit more cost effective. But right now with the shipping prices, it's just not a feasible option. But they're super cute. They're super fun to use. This one is Rare Birds. I'm pretty sure I've got none left in stock either, but I really, really like this. And the base color for this is Inkwell, blended with some of this um, off-white as well. It's a real creamy gray. All right, so that's what we've done there. And again, this one I have painted this edging, um, same on the drawer, just as normal but that's all we've done. So today we're going to be putting the stain and glaze on them. So last week I showed you them. Uh, earlier today I posted a little video showing the stains and glaze as well. So we've got the traditional colors and then we've got these non-traditional colors. And I really, really like these. For me personally, I think they are perfect on little pieces like this where you want a bit of color. Um, you don't necessarily want the traditionals. I wouldn't personally put them like on a whole piece. For me, it wouldn't sell around here, unfortunately. Um, but I think really little pieces like this where you just want the color and you want to continue the color while keeping the timber, I think these are a really, really nice um, product to use and I also like them to like using these colors as a glaze as well, just to add that extra layer of detail. So first up, and we will be using this one today. This is denim. So this is a really, really nice blue. One coat all over this, and that's the back. One coat, and these are pine as well. Next, we have mermaid. And again, there's the back of it. I got some really good photos and videos of these earlier um, in really, really good, good light. So uh, have a look on my page for those. I'll also get them edited down and put onto the website as well for you. Next up, we have Cranberry, which is this really nice red. I actually really, really like the Cranberry as, as a stain. I think it's quite beautiful. And these are all mixable as well. So you can create your own custom color. If you are looking for a redder stain and there are no reds available in the traditional range, there is no reason why you can't mix the cranberry with one of the browns, for example, and create your own color. Really, really easy to do. Um, and an easy way to add some extra detail but nobody else is going to be because nobody will get the exact same color as you either. So this one is Petal. So it looks like a really dirty pink in the jar, but it's such a nice, soft, I really, really like the Petal and we'll be using the Petal today as well. And then finally we have Periwinkle, which is a deep purple. And that's the back. All right, so there are colors, five colors in the non-traditional colors. Um, that was a lot of colors in one sentence. <laughs> really, really nice. So I've got my little sample pots here again today and we'll be pulling from these. Now I've also got some glitter sealer from the Pure Eco range. Again, my little sample pot. Oh, that we are gonna have a little play with as well so we're just having some fun this afternoon all right so let's start with the blue one because i'm going to use the denim and i'm really i really really like the denim so we're going to do that first let me move some of my stuff out of the road so keeping it nice and simple without the dirt inside of it preferably so these are brand new. These come, these are on my website, these little boxes. They are really fun to do. And if you're just even looking to try some different techniques without doing like full pieces of furniture, these are a really great way to have a play around. Uh, I have a Montmartre brush that I'm using today. 
I just find it's nice and easy. Normally I would use a sponge applicator, but I do just find a brush a little bit simpler uh, for little de delicate areas. Obviously I've got to get it into all those corners, etc. as well. A Nista bottle. These are, you've got so much control with these. They're $14.99, no, that's too much. Maybe they are, I don't know. They're on my website, have a look. Um, I really, really recommend these water bottles. I really love mine. I use it all the time, I use it daily. And a rag of some description. You just want it to be lint free. Um, so that's what I've got today. That's an old pillowcase that you can see. We use these for our paint and sips. Um, so that's what we're using today on the inside. So super simple to begin with. We're gonna take our stain and glaze and I'm actually going to, because I don't want this too heavy, lightly spray down my timber on the inside, which is just gonna help spread out the stain and glaze. So the stain and glaze is water-based, which gives us plenty of maneuverability, maneuverability um, to get that product spread out. All right, so I don't want this too dark. And all I'm looking to do for this first coat is to really just get it in there. And I'm using that water that I've just sprayed in there as well to move it around. Now I've chosen the denim because it's similar to the inkwell which I've used. And once I've added the white to the ink while when I was blending it, I feel like this is a really nice match. Now, if you have got a piece with drawers, and I think I'm actually really excited to be able to show you this, but when we've got a piece with a drawer, normally we say don't paint the outsides of the drawers or even the underside runners because Every layer of paint adds about a millimetre. Um, and every millimetre when it comes to a drawer can impact on its functionality. But you can stain them. Because the stain soaks in, you can stain the sides of the drawers and you can get away with a bit of colour. You could even use the stain for a stencil as well. You can really just play around with it, but it's a nice little way to get a bit of detail on the sides of your drawers without actually impacting on the functionality, which is really, really important when it comes to a drawer. You don't want your drawers to be sticking to the point where they're not functional. So I'm just brushing my stain and glaze all inside wetting it wherever I need it to be. Until I've got nice, fairly even coverage. And then I'm going to wipe, wipe it just a little bit. We're not gonna remove much of it, but just enough so that it's nice and, see that was quite a lot and this side's not wet. Just enough so there's not too much left on. We're just removing the excess with our cloth. Okay, so that side I didn't wet, that side I did. So you can sort of see the difference there. You can see how heavy that is. Come in with your cloth and you're just gonna wipe down those edges. So it's just removing some of that excess that's sitting on there. the back as well. And then on the inside, we're just sort of gonna give it a really quick wipe down. We're not putting that much product on that this is super, super necessary. More than anything, it's just moving that product around so that we get a really nice, Fairly even coverage. Just a little bit thick there, so I'm just gonna wipe it, or spray some water on it, wipe it a little bit more. And because it's water-based, 
you can see how much that moves it. Normally when you're wiping, try and stick with the grain of the wood, which is the lines as well. Um, but obviously it's not always possible. So do whatever you can comfortably do with your piece. Oh, looking really nice. So just to show you, I think that's a really, really nice match as well. I didn't want to go like major contrasting with this. I wanted to keep it fairly similar. So our drawer's done. Now we're going to do on the inside. Again, spritz it down. I'd already done that, but we've done it again because my brain forgot. And get that stain and glaze in there. Make sure you get those edges in the corners. Let me know if you've got any comments um, or questions in the comments as well. I'm happy to answer anything that you want to know. Last week's Q&A was fantastic. Thank you all for joining me, even though it was on a Saturday compared to our normal Sunday. Um, it was really, really good and there were some fantastic questions. So thank you all for joining. Um, I had trouble downloading it, so I'm still trying to get these lives up on YouTube. Uh, Facebook has changed, of course, changed how we download the videos a little bit. Um, and it took me like an hour the other day just to find them to download, let alone actually download them. So as soon as I can get my computer to work, um, how it's meant to, <laughs> these will all be up on our YouTube, but I might spend a little bit of time today. I've got some time to play with today. So Fridays are my, sort of my afternoon off from the kids. Normally I go home in the afternoons and I do school pick up while my husband goes to work. Um, but Fridays I get to stay behind here because he doesn't work Fridays. So, or he only works at home Fridays. So I get a little bit of extra time Fridays to do things like this. Of course, I do live locally as well. So if you ever want to pop into the store after hours, um, or you can't make it during hours for whatever reason, just let me know. I'm pretty much always, I'm pretty flexible uh, and I can come back down to the store. It's really no trouble at all. If you're online um, and you want to ask some questions, etc., I'm pretty much always available as well. I'm very good at making myself available as much as I possibly can um, and I will respond to your messages at like 10, 11 o'clock at night and um, not at my life. I'm always happy to help. So let me know if you ever have any questions. So again, just popping it on the inside here. This is actually quite hard to show you all what I'm doing while I'm trying to do it. So just brushing it along. We're just gonna spray those edges again a little bit. Getting it all up where we need it to be. I'm really, really happy with this colour match as well. I think it's a really nice combination. So once you've got it pretty, you don't have to have it like 100%, but um, try and make it as close to be even as you can. It's not a big deal, but when you come in and then wipe it, that's when you're going to start evening it up. So you can sort of see how it's looking a bit uneven. We're so gonna come in and start wiping. Just keep rotating your cloth. So we're removing the excess and we're just spreading it out. Very hard to show, but you get the gist of it. And we're going to do it twice, so you get to see some of it. Just going to get along that edge that I missed. That 
that's looking really, really nice. I'm quite happy with that. So there's the inside. Now this is going over a raw pine. It's not very high quality pine. Um, so it's always going to look a little bit uneven. If it's looking like there's a lot missing, what you can do is just sort of come in when it's not as wet on those bits. Just gently sort of brush it across a little bit. And you can sort of make it match up just that little bit more. Give it a second to start drying. And then, so see how it just looks a little bit more even? Give it a moment to start drying and just really gently wipe it. And you're just gonna try even it out just a little bit. See how that bit's not as obvious as what it was? It's still there, you can't hide it, but it's not quite as obvious. So that color is the denim. All right, we're gonna give that a second to dry. And let's go in with our petal. And we're gonna have some fun with this one. We're gonna use some petal and we're gonna use some glitter sealer, which I'm really, really excited about. We grab myself a piece of paper because I don't have any containers. And what we're gonna do is not use that brush. We're going to grab a nice, fresh, clean brush. I'm gonna move you out of the road. And we're gonna bring over our other one. So I've decided to go with petal. It's all right, that's okay, I caught it. <laughs> I forgot all about it. So we've chosen, We have chosen our, per our petal because I really like these soft pinks. I do like this brighter pink as well, but I like the softness of these other pinks. So we're gonna go with the petal and we're going to mix it with just a little bit of glitter sealer. So let me show you glitter sealer in full effect. So glitter sealer, just as the name suggests, has actual glitter in it. I don't know how well the camera's showing that. So it's super shiny, very glittery. It has actual glitter pieces in it. The light catches it. Really, really pretty. So we're gonna mix a little bit of our glitter with our stain and glaze for just a little bit of extra sparkle. Let me get my jar open. There we go. All right, so. Hang on, gotta get it open. Oh, there we go. All right. Let me just, I'm just gonna show you the lid because it's a very runny. You see those sparkles in there? So this, if you put this over a dark color, you're really, really going to see the sparkle. If you put it over a light color, you're not gonna see them as much. So I'm ju literally just gonna wipe that bit on the lid on my piece of paper. I'm gonna come in with our petal stain and glaze. So again, we're just going to use a little bit and I'm more just going to spoon it out like so. onto my piece of paper. Obviously this would be better in a container, <laughs> but just like that onto our paper. And then I'm going to just gently mix it together. Make sure the two are fairly well combined. Now we're not going for a lot of sparkle, although I think I want a bit more than what we've got. You have a closer look at it, we do. I want a bit more, we need some sparkle. So this is a top coat as well. The stain and glaze has a built-in top coat. Um, so you're not like, it doesn't matter that you're mixing these two. You don't have to stress about then further top coating if you don't want to. Um, for these, uh, last time I just put some wax on them. This time I probably won't, but we'll just see what they're looking like at the end of it. So again, I'm just mixing my silver together with, uh, my silver, <laughs> my glitter sealer together with 
my, you bring up the poster so I don't put it everywhere. Oh, the lighting's shocking in here. The sun has gone and it's just rain. So it's really hard to see it. It's very, very hard to see it. <laughs> I've got no easy way to show you this. I don't think you guys can see the sparkle. I can see the sparkle. And um, yeah, let's just stick with that. As long as I can see it, there is sparkle in there, trust me. So um, you can mix it to whatever ratio you like. You can always um, put the glitter sealer over the top of the stain and glaze, but I like to mix it within the product because that way I don't end up with any streaks that we don't want. So again, I'm going to spritz this down. Not too much, just a bit. I'm just going to wipe up that just a little bit because it was a bit much while I was trying to get those edges. So we're nice and wet. We're gonna come in with our glitter and petal and that works fairly well. Again, same as what we were doing just before. There's quite a lot on my brush. And we're just gonna wipe that all over. And I will grab some photos of these tomorrow and share them as well, so that you can really see that beautiful shine for yourself. I can see it, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's exactly what I was hoping for. Now I'm just gonna run my brushes on this box. I did not paint these very, very edges. So I'm just very carefully rub, rub my brush along them in the hopes to not get it anywhere but on those edges is the goal. Doesn't always happen, but we're gonna try. And then I'll wipe away that excess as well. And I'm gonna get that edge while I'm here. All right, now that the internals has had a second to start drying just a little bit, we're gonna come in with our cloth again. I'm just gonna rotate it so I don't accidentally get any of that blue um, on the pink. Obviously, we don't want any cross-contamination here. And we're just very gently going to wipe along those edges first. I just want to avoid getting the pink on the outside. Obviously, I can paint over it if I accidentally do. For the most part, we'd like not to. And then we'll start wiping on the insides. You see that sparkle in there? It's so pretty. Like a kid in candy land, this sort of thing. I love doing these sorts of finishes. I really, really enjoy them. I love that every single time you do them, they're completely unique and that nobody else is going to have the exact same result as you. And that, for me, makes them so worthwhile, knowing that what I have created, nobody else can exactly copy or do exactly the same thing. But I want you guys to go out and have a go at this at the same time. That everybody's result will be different. Right, let me bring this close. I'm hoping. Come on, camera. Show us. Oh, can you see that sparkle? How pretty is that? So it's just a nice little hello, I'm here sort of look when you open it. And just for comparison, let me show you one that I did a while ago. Oh, I can throw it away. So this is the same pink without, oh, I'm gonna lose that drawer as well. <laughs> same pink without the, where are we? Glitter, so this is the glitter. This is an older one that I did a while ago. So really, really, really pretty finish. So these boxes will be for sale as well. I'll show you this one while we've got it. So this one is Purico Neons and the outside has the pearl seal on it, which is another option. If you want some shine without the glitter, the pearl, I highly recommend. Um, so this one's $29.99 and the two new ones today will also be the same price. So if you see one and you love it, you're more than welcome to purchase it. Just let me know. Send me a message or let me know in the comments. All right, let's do the bottom. So, oh, there's a 
not the easiest things to show you all. So again, we're just brushing all that product in there. Obviously, I've mixed up quite a lot. I did not need to mix up that much. I might need to go and find something else to put this on too because it is a lot of product and I don't like wastage. But we'll see how we go. So it really doesn't matter what direction you brush it on as long as you get it on there. And making sure that I get in those edges as well. And I might go, I might actually put the glitter on the outside of this box as well. And I might show you that too today. So we're just brushing it on. You just want to get it fairly even. Doesn't have to be perfect. This is such an easy thing to do. These are really fun little projects. Um, and you could even do them with the kids, be school holidays, or just do it for yourself. You could line them with felt if you're going to use them for jewelry um, or fabric. You can really do anything you like with these little boxes. They are on my website. Uh, I think they're around the $10 mark. Don't quote me on that though. <laughs> my memory and pricing are not best friends, as we know. Um, but it's just thepaintbrush.com.au. You'll find these under the kids craft section, I'm pretty sure. I'm 99% sure. I could be completely wrong. Anyway, I apologize. All right, so again, we're just gonna wipe away those edges first. Make sure any extra that got anywhere we don't want it is gone. I'm just gonna check this backside as well it's not the end of the world if it does get there i just don't really want it there and on the inside again oh now again if it's getting too heavy for you you can just um you can just wipe it uh spray some water on it it's all water based there's no smell at all um it's all eco-friendly so you can just give it a little spritz with some water. If you find it's not moving as much as what you want, or you can spritz it down first as well. But because it's all water-based, it really does just make this so much easier. All right, now this sparkle is incredible. Let's just take a moment to, I'm hoping, I'm hoping Facebook's showing me this. Let me see if that's going to make a difference today. No, not really. Sometimes it brightens itself up. It's a very dreary, gloomy day here, but this is adding some pizzazz to my day. And my day needs it today. I'm struggling today. All right, so that's that part done. Let's do the little draw. And then I reckon let's add a little bit of the glitter to the outside of the box as well. Because... Everyone needs some glitter. I also like that this glitter is not going everywhere. I'm, I'm a lover of glitter, but I do not like it going everywhere. So this is a nice little bonus way of using it as well. Just spritzing down the inside of the box. My paper's actually soaking it up a little bit, so we're just gonna wet it a little bit to help it maneuver a bit and not soak it all up on me. And then we're just gonna wipe it down on the inside. And again, getting those edges. I wanna make sure that I get the edges on this bit as well. Not the front, just the edge, thank you. And along the back, these are only small, and I do, I just like them to look nice when you pop the drawers out, because you're more likely to pull out the whole drawer 
as well. There's not enough fingers. So again, down the side. Doesn't have to be perfect. We just want it pretty close. And we'll just do down. We're using the very last of our, we mixed just the right amount actually. Our paper has soaked some up. But I'm glad that I mixed as much as I did. Because we've had just enough. All right, so all of our edges done. We're gonna come in with our cloth again. Start on those edges. Making sure any that has sort of come over to the front there. We don't want it ruining our front. And just rotating our cloth. It just makes it that little bit easier. And we're just wiping away the excess. So it's a really straightforward, easy process. Really fun process as well. And it just, it really does make a difference adding that bit of sparkle. I think it's quite beautiful. And on a jewelry box or a little trinket box, I think it's quite sweet. So there we are. Oh, you can sort of see that sparkle happening. I'll get some good photos of these tomorrow anyway when they're dry with the sun on them as well. Hopefully we get some sunshine tomorrow. All right, so that's that part of it. Let's put a little bit of the glitter because I can't resist on. I'm just going to give my hands a quick little zhuzh because they're feeling a bit yuck with all the product on them. There's, you can get the product on your skin. You don't have to worry. But sometimes it just gets a bit sticky and tacky with the top coat. All right, let's go on with our glitter. And we're going to slide our drawer back in there for a second while we put some glitter onto this. I just want a little bit. So we're going to use a damp brush. And we are also going to use our cloth as needed to wipe away any excess. We don't want streaks, etc. Again, I'm using a Montmartre brush. These come in a six pack and they are the gallery series brushes. You'll find them on our website. I use them a lot. We use them in our paint and sips as well. So I'm just going to wet my brush a little bit. I do like a wet brush for the glitter. I just find that way. Um, I'm not, um, it's not going on too heavy. If you put your glitter on too heavy, you're going, all you're gonna see is a lot of glitter. We don't want it looking streaky. So, uh, let's start with the, uh, what was the easiest way to do this? Ooh, let's start with the sides and then we'll work our way around to the top. So we're really, really lightly. You can sponge these on if you like, but we're really lightly going to wipe these on like that. Really simple, really quick. And then we're just going to gently wipe over them. Now I have used silk finish on these. Obviously I don't need to seal them. This is completely optional, but we want a bit of sparkle. That's the only reason we're doing this. And we're just going really quick, light strokes. You could do this with a sponge or with a cloth if you prefer. A brush on something this size though is just as easy. And we're wiping it on. And then we're just going to wipe over it really gently. And it's just removing a little bit of it and making sure that we end up with a nice, smooth finish. Now you absolutely do not have to do this. You don't have to wipe over it. I just like to whip particularly with the glitter because it's actually got that glitter in there. It just makes sure that we are not putting so much on there that it's sort of just sitting around either and sitting in big long streaks which we don't want to have, have happen just like that and you'll find because we're wiping it as well it dries that little bit quicker I'm just going to get some more water on my brush to help that move And it's a really light, fairly even coat all over. You can see it's a little bit streaky. 
And then when we wipe over it, we remove a lot of that. So over the top of it as well, let me bring you a little bit closer. It's bloody drawers. <laughs> let me put it there before I forget about it yet again. All right, so again, we're just brushing straight on. You can go in any direction you like. It really doesn't matter. You do not have to seal over transfers on pieces like this where they're fairly low use. If it's going onto something, say a chair or a bedside table that's going to see a lot of use, I do recommend sealing the transfers just for some added durability. But once they're stuck, they're stuck. They're not going to go anywhere. So you don't have to worry too much. Sparkle. And again, wiping that excess off like so going around those edges as well you don't want any big drips anywhere look at that shine oh it's so pretty look at that oh i could stare at that all day how gorgeous is that and that's just gonna catch the light all right so that's where we're done for the day. I don't have anything else to show you. Now we're just gonna let these dry overnight. I'll get some pretty, pretty pictures tomorrow. I'll put the hardware back on, get some pretty pictures tomorrow and I'll share them tomorrow morning. Oh, I forgot that I moved the camera. <laughs> um, but it's so pretty. That's what we've done today. So we've used Purico Stain and Glaze in the colors petal and denim and we have used purico glitter sealer it only comes in the one color um, it goes it does dry clear but you're going to have that sparkle left behind which is why we're wiping it um, really really pretty this one was painted with inkwell and that custom white the other one that we just did is all a custom white the base of that custom was um Curry Coat Silk Finish in the colour Fossil, which is a really beautiful off-white grey. Um, really, really pretty. So, I had fun. I hope you all did too. I hope you learnt something. Let me know if you've got any questions. Let me go know if you have a go with the staining glazes or with the glitter sealer. I'd love to see what you come up with. Apart from that, if you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure that you subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate it. And thank you all so much for joining me on another very wet, very horrible weather Friday. Thank you everyone and have a lovely weekend.